Someone that's going to, that knows what they're talking about with it, Bertha. I haven't looked at them yet. <laughs> Give it to us, and then I'm going to look at it while you're talking about it, and see if I can add anything. I don't. I doubt. All right, I'll I'm coming be able to you to... live, actually, from coming to you live from their Optum division here in uh, Minot Min Minneapolis. Uh, okay. United Health beating on both the top and the bottom line, pulling in. $80.3 billion in revenue, up 13% year over year compared to the estimate of $79.68 billion. $7.1 billion in earnings were actually up 19% year over year on a per share basis, an adjusted per share basis that comes in at five fifty seven compared to an estimate of five twenty. Big beat there. And the company is also raising its fiscal year guidance again by about 20 cents per share. Now sees adjusted 2140 to 2190, up from 2120 to 2170. The consensus is for 2168 full year. Interesting uh, highlights here as far as the insurance side, the United Healthcare side. Sales there up 12 percent. They added 280,000 members. They're well on the way to adding a million members this year. Uh, interesting there is that their medical cost ratio, some people call it a medical loss ratio, how much they actually spend on medical costs, 81.5 percent. That was down seven basis points from last quarter, notwithstanding the fact that we've seen this Omicron surge here during the summer. So that's going to be a very interesting uh, issue that people will talk about on the call. And Optum, we're at Optum. That's the services side, and that's really the driver of earnings. Optum's revenues were up 18 percent year over year to $45.1 billion, which was well above the estimate. Uh, we're going to be watching during the call again what is going on with uh, COVID, the COVID impact, and medical usage, how they got that much lower medical cost ratio, and also an update on their pending uh, litigation on the big deal with Change Healthcare, which will go to trial antitrust proceedings in August. Back over to you guys. Oh, wait, one more thing. I forgot. One more thing. I'm doing the Steve Jobs. The, the big thing. We'll be talking exclusively with United Health Group's CEO, Andrew Witte, today on Squawk on the Street at 10.45 a.m. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.